Snowy! Captain! Good morning, gentlemen. How are you this morning? Who are you? Where am I? Where's the captain? Where are my manners? Sorry. I'm Lieutenant Hank Morris. I'm in charge of Fort Al Salad, this place. We are part of the British Army, just a little outpost a couple of days east of Bagar. Bagar? We were going to Bagar. But the sun... Yes, I know. Crossing the desert is no easy feat. Only the most experienced can do it safely. Where is Captain Haddock? He was angry and violent. It took three of my best men to restrain him. He could not be left wandering free through the fort. By the way, you know my name, but I don't know yours. My name is Tintin. I'm a reporter from Brussels. How long have we been here? Three days. I think it's time to stretch your legs a bit. Come with me. Captain! Can you hear me? Captain! Rackham. Red Rackham. Return me my ship! Who's Rackham? Captain! Can you hear me? Captain! Captain, wake up, Captain! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up, you crumpy old fool! Much better. How are you, Haddock? I hope you're comfortable at the place I've prepared for you at the mast. <laughs> Ye laugh like a donkey, Rackham. Oh, yes, Haddock. Keep mocking and laughing. Keep looking tough. I wanted you to see this. My treasure. My ship was a good one, but was so damaged because of our little squabble that I have decided to reclaim your beautiful ship for my needs. Where are me men? Have ye killed them? Oh, you offend me. What kind of ruffian do you think that I am? I'm going to free them and give them my old ship. As long as they are able to fix the holes in the hull and prevent the whole ship from sinking, they'll be fine. You're a monster! Tonight, my men and I will celebrate, and your crew will sink to the bottom of the sea in a wrecked husk. And tomorrow, you will know the kind of monster that I am. I promise you. Keep an eye on him. If he is not tied up here tomorrow at dawn, I will throw you into the sea so the sharks can have a healthy breakfast. Yes, Captain. I'm thirsty. Give me some water. Shut up. Rackham will not be happy if I die of thirst before he can kill me. If I hear anything more from you, I'll put you to sleep with my own fists. These ropes are... a bit loose. I think I can rub these ropes against the mast. Continue. Er, 
little bird. seem to be blocking me way. I need to do it. Look, a crate with candles. Hmm, I need to make a powder fuse. This will create a nice fireworks show for Rackham's party. I watch it from afar in a little skiff. No, I need some fire. Maybe I can get it from the lantern near the stairs. <laughs> Perfect.
done. <laughs> okay, perfect. Let's start. I must try again. me anymore. You two, grab Haddock and tie him to the mast again. And this time, do it right. You 
Isn't that the best you can do, old man? I'm not even breaking a sweat. I didn't want to shame ye in front of your men. I'll wait at least a couple of rounds to finish ye. Aren't you, Sir Rackham? I will let you calmly rest here. If you hear a loud noise and feel a scorching sensation, fear not. It won't last long. <laughs> Lightning and thunder! What are you doing? Why have you thrown a bucket of water at me? Uh, yes, well, uh, sir, the blonde gentleman sprinkled you with water and it, it seemed to work a bit. So I decided that more water would help you- Will turn me into a human herring? I'm going to snap you like a twig! Captain, I'm so glad you're well. You really worried us. What are you talking about, boy? Where are we? The last thing I remember was a sandstorm. Let's talk, Captain. There are a lot of things you need to know. We can't thank you enough, Lieutenant Morris. We owe you our lives. Thanks, gentlemen. There's no need. We simply did what was proper. Lieutenant, we need to send a message to the authorities. Can you allow us the use of your radio? I'm sorry, but our radio is broken. You can talk to the resident handyman, Markinson. At this time, he should be in the canteen. Many thanks, Lieutenant. Let's go, Captain. We have work to do. First, we need to find Snowy, and then find a way to repair that. I'll search for Snowy while the Captain is resting. Maybe the soldiers have seen him.
The cook says there's a ghost in the kitchen. The heat must be affecting him. The heat? Yeah, sure. I bet you that he has eaten all the food in the pantry. You! You have brought this curse on us! Since you arrived, my kitchen has been haunted! If you help me get rid of the ghost, I'll help you find your dog. What do you say? Okay, I'll help you with that. The ghost is hidden inside. Level the entire building to the ground if you need, but please get rid of it! It was very fast. I couldn't catch it. There are no ghosts in here. This is a rat play. Uh-oh. That's not good. help me deal with the fire. What was that? Was that the ghost? Where did it go? I need to find it. I think I know who it is. Snowy! I knew you were the ghost. Come here, boy. I'm very sorry for what he did. Snowy didn't want to cause trouble, but we were so hungry in the desert. How can I repay you? Well, if you are so willing, I need some aromatic herbs that only grow outside the fort. You will need a camel to get to where they grow. I will open this door for you so you can get one. <laughs> Sorry, lad. I'm not laughing at you. I've got some sand in me here, and that's the only way i found to get it out. I must fetch some special herbs for the cook. Can I borrow a camel? Wow. That can only mean that a special soup is on its way. That's music to my ears. I'll give you a hand. First, I'll teach you how to ride that camel. Hop on, lad. You've got it! Keep it up!
Arturo. Right on. Excellent. You've completed the practice. You're ready to go. This path leads to the oasis where the ingredients are. Remember, tap the screen to make the camel run. I will follow you closely. Watch out for the obstacles. Do it. Yeah. What a ride. I've had problems following you.
I'm about to melt like an ice cream. I hope you have all we need, boy. Back, lad! I know finding these ingredients was not easy. So you and your dog are off of the road. So, here they are! How oh, wonderful! I'm gonna make the best coconut soup in all of history. From now on, your mutt is a welcome in my kitchen, lad. I feel like I've been lost in the desert for ages. Captain, how are you? At last, the three of us are together again. No matter the size of the desert, I know that mutt will always find the scent of food. <laughs> Hurrah for that white doggy! And for you, Tintin! And for everyone in this blessed dead or alive hole in the middle of nowhere. Now that we are safe, we must get in touch with the police. Saccharin must be stopped. I remember seeing a telegraph in the lieutenant's office, just like the one I had on the Karabujan. So, you want to use the telegraph? Good luck with that. It hasn't worked in years. It's true, the guy in charge of fixing is always sleeping in the barracks. And you will need a whole marching band to wake him up. I have been told off for forgetting to hoist the flags. Yes, sir. We will fight them on the beaches, and we will fight them in the city, sir. Ahem. <clears throat> I'm dead. I'm in heaven, and you're an angel. Sorry for awakening you, but I need to use the telegraph. Wow, that's no easy task. It will take a great deal of strength and cunning to repair that piece of junk. Let's do this. I will take a small nap to recharge myself, and then... No, no. I volunteer to fix it. Just tell me what I have to do. Okay, but on two conditions. First, 
you will go and tell the lieutenant that the idea is totally mine. And second, straighten up and start working now. If I catch you sleeping, I will kick your butt from here to Timbuktu! There's the lieutenant. I must find a way to his office and let him know that I'll fix the antennas. Orders are orders, sir. While the red flag flutters, I cannot let you out without a camel, sir. Come here, kiddo. have to wait for that delicious soup. The lieutenant's quarters are this way, sir. So, Markinson has convinced you to do his job for him and fix the telegraph. He's a good soldier, but he's as lazy as an old dog. I don't condone his behavior, but go right ahead and do it if you want. And thanks in advance if you succeed. First and foremost, we must activate two antennas. They are in the tallest towers of the fort. You can reach the first one from the camel area. I will tell my men to unroll the ladder. You have to climb high, so watch your steps, please. Our resident doctor is not qualified to patch broken skulls. 